Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chantel, and today I am super excited to set up my reading journal for 2024. This reading journal is brand new to my shop this year. It's undated, so you can use it any year that you want to. In the future, you can keep duplicating them year after year, and I have a bunch of cover options because I imagine people using this and setting a different cover every year so you can differentiate them and go back through your journals and see what you read every year. I'm setting a pretty lofty reading goal this year of 100 books. I'm setting a higher goal this year because I want to make a lot more reading content. So if I read more, my justification is that I'm giving myself more books to talk about here. So if you're interested in reading content, please stick around. I'm setting a lofty goal. So I will come on here and make more reading style content. So let's look at my reading journal. This is a PDF format, so you can use it in any PDF annotation app that you might have. I prefer GoodNotes, GoodNotes is my very favorite. If you want an updated GoodNotes tutorial for GoodNotes 6, let me know, that's something I can work on as well. My most recent GoodNotes tutorial was for GoodNotes 5, but it's since been updated in the past year last few months really. So I'd be happy to show you how it's a little slightly different than it was before. But you can also follow along here and I'll show you how I'm using my reading journal in GoodNotes. So this is the reading journal. And the first thing I'm gonna do is decide what cover I want to choose. Once I've decided on what cover I want to use, I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon in the top corner. It looks like four squares and it will bring up all the thumbnails and I can go through here and delete the other covers that I am not using currently. The only thing I will say when you're using this method is not to delete anything that's linked because that will change the way the notebook works. If you do do that, all you have to do is re-download a fresh copy. Okay, so now that we've picked our cover, all you wanna do is swipe over and you're in your index. All of these buttons are clickable. This is my pride and joy. I spent so much time making all of these different templates and I asked on Instagram what a lot of you were using too and I used pretty much every template that I could possibly dream up. So I'm pretty confident that if you're looking for a specific book template, it is in this journal. But of course I have pictures up on the website. So if you wanna see everything that's in here, it'll be there as well. All of these buttons are clickable. And if you're wondering how to use those, you just need to make sure your pen tools are off in order to click on the buttons. So here's your pen tool up at the top. If your bar is blue and you see all of these tools, you won't be able to click on anything in the planner. But if you turn off your pen tool, your bar will go to gray and all of these buttons will be clickable. To get back to the index from anywhere in the planner, there will be a little sidebar. It's in the entire journal and all you need to do is click on it and you come back to your index and you can you know, go through to any template that you're interested in. You can also copy and paste templates behind the sections. So we have 10 extra sections down here. They're accessible via this sidebar, but you can also click on it in the index itself. And they look like this. I'm pretty happy with how those turned out. So if you wanna use any templates and you wanna put it behind a section so it's easily accessible, all you need to do is I'm popping back to my index here. All you need to do is say I want to keep my books loaned. Really easy to access. All I need to do here is tap on these three dots in the top right corner. Copy this page. I can navigate over to my first section and I can go ahead and write in here books loaned and I can use this lasso tool to recenter it. I'm going to turn my pen tool off again and now I can go up to the top and use this add page button. Select if I want it to be before or after. I'm going to say after and then paste my page. And now no matter where I am in the journal, if I want a quick jump to section one, I can do that here and I can go back to my index 
and make this tab books locked so I can remember what all the sections are. So now that we're in my index, I told you that I wanna set 100 books as my challenge for this year. So I'm gonna grab the highlighter tool and I'm just going to highlight the 100 books challenge. But what I'm really gonna work on while we're just setting this up is setting up my TBR and putting in all the books that I know just off the top of my head right now that I wanna get into. So the way that I set up the TBR in this journal is that it is almost like a folder or a cover. And then there are a couple different templates that you can use based on what your preferences in template is. So there's a couple ways to access your TBR. You can either click on your sidebar and go to your TBR that way, or you can use the index and tap to your TBR this way. And in the TBR, we have a couple of different templates that you can use if you prefer using the book covers or if you prefer writing out your titles and your authors and your genres this way. What I'm gonna do is use the book covers because I think it'll be cute and fun to do. All right, so I'm just gonna turn this over into landscape and then I'm going to slide up the bottom bar and open up my Safari and put in the books that I know for sure I wanna read. I know for sure the first thing on my list is to finish the Throne of Glass series. I have Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and um, Kingdom of Ash left. Let me know if I should tandem read, if that's actually a good idea. And if you're interested in the tandem read, let me know if you want a reading vlog on that. So I'm gonna go to my images here. And I wonder if I can just drag, oh, you can't. If I can grab this one, yes. Okay, so make sure you're not using the links up at the top, but if you're using just regular Google images, you should just be able to drag and drop. And then I'm just gonna use my lasso tool here and resize this little guy. I'm gonna show you how I do that again really quick. And this one is Tower of Dawn. Go ahead and search for that. You should be able to grab it. and drag it and drop it. And then use my lasso tool and resize. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the rest of these books because it's gonna take me quite a while to put in all the books that I know for sure that I wanna read. I'm not gonna put in 100 books right now because I don't know every single book that I'm for sure gonna wanna read this year. If you have any recommendations, please leave them down below and I'll show you what my TBR looks like when I'm done here. This is definitely the hack of the century. Open up your Goodreads account in Safari and have it in split screen here. And then you just wanna go through your TBR list or whatever list you're going through. And then don't pull it out of its tiny little thumbnail because if you do, it's gonna be pretty low quality. Just tap on it and you'll be able to drag and drop it directly into your journal. And that's gonna make it super, super easy.
Okay, so I just filled in my first page of TBR. It's 20 books, and I feel like that's a good start in this journal. Two of these books, it's the first week of January, two of these books I have already read. So I'm gonna show you how I plan to move things from my TBR over to my library. So if you wanna do a similar process, you can. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is just make sure my pen tools are on, grab the lasso, I'm gonna lasso this book. This is Sarah J. Moss's Queen of Shadows. Go ahead and copy that. I'm on a quest to finish all the Sarah J. Moss books before Crescent City Book 3 comes out and I only have three left, so I would say it was a good use of time last year reading all of those books. So I'm gonna go over to my library now. Oh, you see how that doesn't work? It's because I have to turn off that pen tool. Now I can tap my library. And this is what my library looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that pen tool again. Grab that lasso tool. And then go ahead and hold down and paste. Now I just need to resize this. Okay. I'll tell you right now, I rated this book five stars. How I like to fill in the stars is I like to grab the highlighter tool, make it the smallest size. I'm gonna grab yellow, and, and I'm just gonna color it in. And then I just use the lasso tool to copy and paste that into the other stars. My favorite part of digital journaling versus journaling in a notebook is I hate when things are not centered and I can just grab the lasso tool and move things over if I want to with a digital journal. Okay, so now I'm going to fill out my review. All I'm gonna do is grab my lasso tool and copy that again and then turn off my pen tool and each of these titles are going to be linked in your library so i can just tap on this and it'll take me to a book review i'm going to tap on my pen tool again grab my lasso and then go ahead and paste this cover into this little box here and i will fill out my review wondering how I felt about Queen of Shadows and Throne of Glass in general. I loved Queen of Shadows. I rated it a five out of five. I will say Throne of Glass, I can see why so many people love this series and rate it their favorite Sarah J Moss series. To be honest, I might very well be in the same camp depending on how this ends. This really is for readers that are serious readers, obviously because there's so many books, but also you gotta be in it for the delayed gratification. And I would not recommend this to anybody who does not have a lot of time set aside to read because the first few books, hard. They were hard to get through for sure. This book and the last book, Air Fire and Queen of Shadows have been my favorite. This is where we're starting to get to five stars. I imagine the next few books are also gonna be five stars for me if we keep going on this path. And these books wouldn't be five star books if I hadn't read all the backstory in the other books, especially in Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass. And those were the hardest books for me to read. I might have a little bit of a controversial take in saying that I kind of wish I just read Assassin's Blade first. I read it after I read Crown of Midnight. And I do think that if you're gonna do any sort of misplacement of the book, that might be the way to do it. Because once you read Air of Fire, you're not gonna wanna go back. And you do need to read Assassin's Blade to get how special the story is once you get into Queen of Shadows for sure but I really wish I just read Assassin's Blade first. I understand why people don't recommend it because I feel like if you read Assassin's Blade before you read Throne of Glass, you might not continue with the series because it's set up like a bunch of novellas, a bunch of short stories that are really long stories. And I could see why you wouldn't be invested in them if you weren't already invested in Throne of Glass, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I wasn't invested in Throne of Glass anyway. I wasn't really invested until Crown of Midnight. 
So if you know for sure, if you're like a Sarah J Maas fan, and if you've read Actar and you have a lot of time to read or set aside to read, and you know you're gonna read the whole series regardless of if you like it or not, I would recommend reading it in the author's preferred order because Sarah J Maas herself says that you should read Assassin's Blade first. And I would say if you know for sure, if you're like me and you were like, if I liked this or if I didn't like it, I was gonna finish this series, I would recommend reading Assassin's Blade first. If you are someone who values your time, which I totally understand, then I would see why you would wanna read Throne of Glass first, Crown of Midnight, and then jump into Assassin's Blade because you can kinda of see in Crown of Midnight whether or not you can see going forward with this series. Although I will say personally for me, this did not get as, I didn't get obsessed with the book until Air of Fire, so. Let me know your takes down below. I know that might be a little bit of a controversial take and I'm excited to read the rest of the series. Let me know what your honest thoughts on the tandem read are. I feel like I see a lot of mixed things, but I am kind of excited to have a little bit of a book challenge that I've never taken on before. I have never read a tandem read style book, never read two books at once that were meant to go together. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd be interested in a reading vlog of that. And let me know if you like this style of incorporating a couple of little book reviews in with my monthly setup for my book journal. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna do my second book review in here and then I'm going to set up the rest of the month in my January page here and I'll show you how I plan on using that as well. Since I like this series so much, I am also going to add a couple of other things to my book review. One of those things, I'm gonna go back over to my library and I'm gonna grab the series tracker. And I'm just going to grab this three buttons at the top, copy this page, go back over to my library, go back over to Queen of Shadows, and then add this page after, like that. And I'm just gonna fill out the series information here. I'll probably put actual Throne of Glass right here. And the other thing I wanna do is go to my index and I wanna do where is it? my book mood board. So again, three dots up at the top, copy that page, go back over to my library, grab Queen of Shadows. And I think I'm gonna add this after the book review page. So my idea for this book mood board is because I am a really visual person. I imagine a lot of this in my head and I love also looking at fan art and like thinking about the vibe. I usually listen to a playlist while I'm reading these books, especially the fantasy books. I'm not sure that I'm making a mood board for like the self-help books I'm reading, really just the fun ones, but I'm gonna open up Pinterest over here on the side and make a mood board for Queen of Shadows.
The other book I read this week was Crushing It from Gary Vee. My dad gave it to me for Christmas. It was a quick read, so I read it super fast. Didn't realize how old this book is, so a lot of the advice in there is a little less relevant than what's going on right now in the same industry. So it was good, but you know, I don't think you guys are here to watch my um, reviews on business and social media tip books, <laughs> but it was okay. I gave it a three star. And the last thing I wanna set up today is my January spread. All of these little spreads, I plan on doing a little bit every day, not all at once, cause otherwise it's kind of gonna take a long time. So here we are at January. You should just be able to click on the dates and it'll take you to the month. And I'm gonna write down the things I wanna read right now. Okay, so I have my TBR in here and I'm going to use my monthly spread here to put in books like when I'm reading them and when I finish them. The only reason I don't use undated planners, I don't really like to date them myself, but I didn't want this journal to be something that you could use for years and years to come. But I am curious if you would be interested in next year. I know that's way long away. It's only January right now. If you'd be interested in me releasing these in dated format, cause I might just make one for myself anyway. just start that tandem read today now that I've thought about this. So I'm gonna go over to my TBR and I'm going to grab Empire Storms Tower of Dawn, copy that back over to my January, paste that here, resize, and zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. And then maybe I'll just arrange these kind of cute because I'm pretty excited about this. and sticky section here. This green one. I'm gonna put down my tandem read. And we'll see how long that goes. And then the other thing that I know for sure I wanna put in here is to go back to my TBR and I wanna grab House of Flame and Shadow and go back to January and put that down here on the 30th because I know that's the day that it releases. Here. And I really want to have all of the other books done before this because my best friend and I are going to buddy read them along with the entire universe, I'm sure, that's going to pick this book up as soon as it's out. I'm going to grab my highlighter, grab custom, grab a yellow from in here. There we go. I'm pretty excited about that. And then my vibes section here. This is gonna be pretty throne of glass heavy. So going back over here to Pinterest 
And I'm going to pull in some Throne of Glass fantasy dark vibes. <laughs> So that is my first month in my setup in my new reading journal. I'm probably also going to quickly move those things over to my 100 book challenge as well so I can start counting those and I'll just add them as I go. <laughs> show you what it's like once a month when I set up what I want to read and maybe when I'm putting in the books from the last month that I'm catching up on and I could kind of show you the progress to getting to a hundred books this year but I gotta say just in journaling out a little bit for the last two books that I read this week I have a strong feeling I'm going to remember what's going on in the books a lot more because I wrote it down and I'm really excited especially with series to go back on the past books and see what I thought because at the end of my little review for Queen of Shadows, the Throne of Glass series, I still have three books left to go, but I wrote in like what I think is gonna happen. And then in the next books, I'll see if I was right or not. So anyways, I'm really excited. Might be a little bit of a nerdy thing to be excited about, but if you're interested in these kinds of videos, I can definitely do more of them, maybe monthly. If you'd be interested in that, let me know. If you like my reading journal and you would like one yourself, I'll have that link down below. And thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.